our lesson this time is how to easily generate your table of contents for your report or any write-up. So let's just say we have this document that has several pages. It could be a short document like this one, which I just put together for the sake of uh, an exercise. And uh, it could also be a very long document, maybe 100 or more pages. So we need to know how to create a table of contents so that it would be easy for us to update it. So thankfully, we don't have to print this one and uh, use the printout as a reference as we encode each chapter name and each header name. And we also don't have to scroll from page to page every time we have to update our table of contents. So there's this very uh, useful function within uh, um, Word, its references. So just uh, go to the top of your page and uh, you'll, you'll see this in your uh, toolbar, references. And under references, you'll find the option here, table of contents. So let's see what we have here so within table of contents you actually have options for the format of your table of contents so let's say i choose this uh, table one format which has um, heading one two and three so i'll click on this so you see that there are no contents yet, there are no entries found, but later we will have contents for this as we go along. So I'll just put here table of contents because that's how I name my uh, table of contents for my reports and just put here, put this one at the center. Now this one, this chapter, uh, titles in these references you have aside from this one that we already clicked a while ago you have this option to add text to your table of contents so you have several options here do not show in table of contents or level one two and three so level one would be this let's say i assign my chapter titles to level one. So introduction would fall under level one. So I click that. And just to see how it will change the table of contents above, I use the command here, update table. Okay, let's just see what will happen. Oh, now we have introduction there. I did not have to type the name of the chapter, nor did I have to write the page number. I did not have to scroll down what page is this. Word automatically did that for me. Now, so background is my heading here. So I go to references again. I highlighted background because that's the whole text that I would like to appear that I would like to show on my table of contents. So add text and background would be level two. Okay. So now I don't have to do this. Uh, actually, that I would need to update every time I encode something, but just so we see the progress of what we're doing, let's uh, click on update table. So I choose one. Now, once you have more than one entry already in your table of contents, what will show up is this. If you update the page numbers only or you update the entire table. So in this case, I'd like to update the entire table because I'm adding a heading. So, OK. Wow. So I didn't have to encode the word background nor the page number. 
now I go to the next chapter. Let's just say I'm already in methodology. Now this is just for exercise. And uh, this is um, my chapter title. So I again go to references and add text. So that one, because it's a chapter uh, title would be level one. I click on level one and uh, it, should, uh, it should actually be at the center. So let's see how that would change our table of contents. Again, to references, then click update table and update entire table. Okay. So now we have uh, both introduction and methodology. And the next one would be results and discussion, which would also be a chapter title. So go to references, then uh, choose level one. And uh, if it has to be at the center, and uh, update your table again. Update table, update entire table. Okay. Now what if I choose a, a heading here under results and discussion, let's just say I choose here, I inserted something here um, under results and uh, you see results and discussion. Let's just say I chose here consumer electronics. So I highlight that, then go to references and add text. That would be level two because it's not a chapter name. So consumer electronics. And let's just see how that would change my table of contents. It would be references, update table, and update entire table and you have consumer electronics there. Now my last uh, chapter is conclusion and recommendations. So I go to references, I highlighted conclusion recommendations, go to references, add text, level one, and it would uh, update my entire and I would update my table again. So now when you go up, you'll see that conclusion recommendations are already in the table of contents without you having to encode any chapter name or any heading or any page number. So they were automatically generated for you. Now, if I insert several pages, for example, I insert a lot of pages and the page numbers were moved, I don't have to, to create a new table of contents if there's, a, if there's no new header nor new chapter name. I just, uh, so look at the page numbers. You have one, two, and three. But now, because I inserted so many pages, let's update our table. See, it's automatically updated. So that should be um, helpful, I hope, in our making of a table of contents for a report or any write-up. So you can change the font here, and you can make this bold or you can uh, change the font, font size, and uh, that, that would be up to you. And there are so many other features for this one. You might want to explore what else you can do under references. You can actually also do here uh, tables and figures, but for now, we are just focused on the table of contents. So, enjoy the ease that you will have in making your table of contents very easily.